In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a UI segmented control, which will work uh, like this. You'll have a segmented control on the top, um, or you can position it anywhere you like, for example, at the bottom, and then it will have three options, first, second, and third. Um, I, can, uh, I will show you how to create a segmented control with more than three or uh, less, like with two options only. Obviously, you cannot have uh, like 50 options here because there's uh, not enough space in the view, but uh, something like two, three, or four, even five um, is, uh, is possible. Uh, and uh, segmented control allows you to switch between different options, and it could be at least below. In my example, I have only one label first, which updates with the uh, label of selected segmented control option, for example, first, and then I switch to second. But it could be um, something else uh, other than label, for example, a table view with a list of different options. It could be a table view with uh, songs and pictures, for example. So let's go ahead and create one uh, very quickly. Uh, so I'll uh, create a new uh, single view application, and I'll call it my new segmented control example. Go to main storyboard, resize to iPhone 4 inch. Okay, and now we'll uh, look for segmented control here. By default, it has only two options. But uh, if I select segmented control and on my um, here uh, right side panel, I can choose more than two. For example, I can select, I can increase this value to three or even four. Uh, I'll keep it to three and the first value is set by the label of the first segmented control option is set to by default to its first. So when you select uh, down below here, segment, it says segment zero is first. I can change it to something, uh, let's say private. And the second one will be uh, protected. Protected. And the third one will be set to public. And these are different um, um, access control options. For example, you can use a segmented control with something like table view. Uh, and if you have a music app, for example, once you select uh, private, your table view will be updated with the list of uh, songs available to you only. And if, if you choose a protected, then your table view will switch to a list of songs available to you and your friends only. And then if you choose public, your table view will uh, refresh with the list of music available to everybody else in the world, public access, right? Uh, but uh, in my example, I, I will use a um, label just to keep this video very simple and show you how to work, how the UI segmented control work works. Okay, and um, I have my UI created, I will uh, open up a system editor and will create some outlets. So first of all I will create an outlet for my uh, segmented control and that will be an outlet for uh, call it my segmented control. Here we go and of course I need a one for my label because uh, this is uh, where I'm going to display selected segmented um, control title. Um, and I will call it my status label, something like this. Okay, and uh, the next thing I want to create is a, an action outlet so that when segmented control uh, volume is changed here uh, from the connection, you want to select action and then type, uh, you want to select segmented control and the event, there are different events that you can work with. I will choose um, value changed. So every time user changes value of the segmented control, um, this uh, function will be called and I will call it my uh, segmented control value 
changed. Okay, now I have a function which will trigger every time the function uh, the value is changed. Okay, so uh, let's implement a uh, very uh, simple business logic. And the first thing that we want to do, of course, we want to update our label. Uh, I will grab the label and I'll say my label text is equal to uh, um, sender, which is segmented control, and then it has a title for segment at index, and then I will actually show you that you can grab a not sender, but um, my segmented control and then title for segmented control and index and then you grab the index from sender. Sender selected segment index. This is it. So selected segment index will be zero for very first option because it's it's an array of values. So zero for private, one for protected and two for public. And I get the title here as a title for segmented control at index zero. So that should be private returned and in case of um, one protected and in case of index two public returned and the value is going to be set to my status label. So let's uh, run it. Um, let's run it on iPhone 5 and see how it works. Here we go. We have our uh, private, protected, and public segmented control created. I will tap on uh, protected and it changes to a different value. Tap on public and it changes to a different value. We see that we have some issues with our interface design. Let's quickly change that. And there is actually one more issue. When my um, uh, mobile app started, um, private uh, segment was selected but the label wasn't set to a proper one i'll quickly show you it one more time i will run it uh interface is loaded private is selected but the label is not updated so we will fix that as well right now so we'll stop it first of all i want to increase the label width and i will align it to the left now almost everything will fit in here and the second uh, issue that we want to fix is when our interface is loaded and I like to use um, a view will appear rather than view did load overwrite function view will appear call it super view will appear animated and here when the view is loaded i want to uh, grab first of all the index of this um, segmented control so i will go and create a new variable say selected segment index equals and then i'll say my segmented control selected index so now we know which button or which uh, segment was selected and uh, next thing that we want to do we want to set or we want to update the label my status label text with the title just like we did here below with the title of my segmented control so if i'll copy this And I need to provide index of selected segment, which I have here. Selected segment index we created here. Okay, and now when a view will the view will just about to appear, this code will execute, and our uh, label is set to the um, segmented uh, option segment control uh, option which is selected so if i switch to protected and which is when i switch to public it updates works very well and um, 
one more time in my case it's it's a label but again you can have a table view below or a scroll view uh, with different options and uh, you can add different business logic once you have uh, once you know which uh, segment user tapped on in the segment control. I hope this video was very helpful to you and uh, if for some reason it doesn't work uh, please comment below uh, and let me know and I will try to help you out as soon as I can. Thank you.